I'm Dr. Mary Kate. I'm a physical therapist here at Thompson Healthcare, and here's our post operative follow up with Becky. We're about two and a half weeks out of surgery. She had ACL reconstruction with a patellar graft, so no meniscus uh, repair. So, pretty much what they do is they take the little piece of the tendon just below the kneecap and utilize that to create a new ACL ligament. Um, and Becky's just going to share a couple things that she experienced the first week or so after surgery. Yeah, I didn't start my PT until about a week uh, post-op, so that week of being home was really just focused on uh, making sure I could do things in a limited way, like ankle pumps or using my ice cuff to keep the swelling down. Um, I, I mean, was trying to do quad sets by um, engaging my quad, but I, it wasn't really that strong at the time. So I was just trying to kind of be careful, but also try to keep a little bit of mobility in that time of being locked in my brace and preparing to start PT. So a really important aspect after sur surgery is returning Becky to normal functioning, especially while walking. So originally she came in with two crutches and was only able to put weight through her toes. Then we progressed to utilizing just one crutch with the brace totally locked so her knee was completely straight. We then leaned off from one crutch to no crutch and currently I'm going to have you turn to the side Becky. So as you can see the brace itself has a hinge and we can unlock it and lock it to allow for certain motion. So right now we have Becky's brace unlocked to about 40 degrees of knee bend. So as she keeps progressing and improving her range of motion in her knee, then we can continue to unlock it to return to a normal walking pattern. So Becky, let's just show how we practice kind of walking. So every time her left heel strikes, she's really thinking about engaging this quad and trying to straighten her knee out as much as she can. So go ahead. And try not to wobble. Good. Come on back. So something post-op ACL reconstruction we really want to prevent happening is what's called quad lag. So it's when someone's trying to raise their leg straight up. I'm just going to demonstrate on this leg, Becky. And instead of it being nice and locked out like this, the quad's not strong enough, so it kind of comes up like this, as you can see in this over-exaggerated bend here. So what we have Becky doing um, is really forcing this contraction and then trying to lift the leg up. We keep her in the brace so she stays in that nice full extension. Um, and then something else that we utilize along with that is uh, what's called NMES, so neuromuscular uh, electric stimulation. So we place electrodes on the quad itself, sending in signals to cause the quad to contract. So that and along with Becky working to contract the quad helps increase the strength. So Becky, we're just gonna do one quick example of how we do it. So go ahead and she's really forcing the quad contraction here, which you can see nice and straight and back down. So we normally have her doing about three sets between four and eight reps, depending on the day and how fatigued she might be. So right now we have Becky coming to PT about two to three times a week, uh, just so we can get her strength back and get her range of motion back. She's doing a lot of stuff at home too, which definitely helps propel us and kind of have us move further along at a faster pace. She's going for her first post-op appointment at the end of this week, so we'll be really excited to see. Uh, she should be getting some of the sutures out. Check back in a month so we can continue following Becky's journey.